What's up, guys? Welcome back to Between the Pylons. I'm John Camacho. Thank you so much for watching. And today we are doing another draft profile, this time on Kenneth Gainwell, running back out of Memphis. And guys, I don't know what's going on in Memphis, but it just seems like they are churning out NFL talent at a phenomenal rate. I mean, it is it seems like every single year I have a Memphis running back to watch and a Memphis uh, offensive line and schedule to watch every single year. Uh, and, and every single year, they're, they're mid round picks that end up being pretty good in the NFL, uh, either backup, you know, high quality backups or, you know, potential starters, uh, depending on their situation. And I think Kenneth Genwell has the opportunity to be just as good, if not better than anybody else is coming out. And I'll be honest, I think he'll be my highest ranked Memphis running back in a while, although I haven't been doing this for a super long time. So I can't go back super uh, far on that, but we'll get to all that in a second. Kenneth Gainwell did opt out of the 2020 season and declare for the draft really early. Um, I'm going to be doing the, these videos pretty early on, so I'm actually going to get to some players where I'm not really sure if they're coming out. So I feel really good about, uh, you know, at least starting with guys that I know are going to be in the draft and I know we're going to get drafted. Kenneth Gainwell, another guy. Absolutely going to be drafted. I, I think uh, we'll, we'll get to where I think he should go and all that. Let's actually jump right into it now with the film portion of this video. And, and the first thing I, I want to point out is just his his ability to maneuver in traffic. Uh, same thing I loved with the CH was his ability to kind of cut and and weave his way through through the line. Has such good vision, uh, so, such good instincts at the point of attack. So you'll see very very subtle stuff right here, but just his ability to cut through this hole and explode through it at a phenomenal pace i found that very good and then obviously uh, gets kind of bottled up by two defenders uh, but lowers his head and, and shoulder and, and falls forward for about six yards gotta love that and here i think is even a better example of what i showed before pretty much exact same uh run play kind of is able to cut through here and just explode upfield make somebody miss fall for for additional yardage look it's not sexy I, I get it he absolutely has home run hitting ability but what i find so much more interesting is the explosiveness and and instincts in traffic and i think that's probably even more important than the big sexy plays that you know you, you'll see on the highlight reel and stuff and here against penn state obviously has a ton of room to the right here and, and i want to pause it right here because right here you see him start to gear down a little bit in preparation to make number 17 miss right 17 is pretty much the only guy who's going to have a chance to touch him before getting into the wide open field and, and i love how he's able to gear down to first gear a little bit slow it down set him up make him absolutely miss like absolutely whiff which i mean let's just take a second to appreciate that and then the second he is past the defender immediately able to gear back up to third or fourth gear and just off to the absolute races down the sidelines. That is the type of playmaking ability that I that I like to talk about here with Kenneth Gainwell because it's not just his ability to weave in and out of traffic and holes as I showed in the first couple clips. It's also the ability to make people miss in the open field and make the most of it when he does. And on this play, you're going to see Kenneth Gainwell really show his one cut running ability here. You'll see a little bit of a stretch play, kind of gets to decide where he wants to go with the football here and the second he identifies the hole right here he puts his right foot in the ground explodes upfield through the hole and, and shows his home run hitting ability by getting to the second level and obviously getting all the yards he can out of this play and, and i do want to bring it back just to show one quick little thing uh, something that i noticed throughout watching his film that every once in a while you will notice that that when he makes this quick cut when he makes this quick decision he kind of has to regain balance and he does it very well like he doesn't lose momentum while regaining balance but you can kind of see here that quick little arm flail that's that little bit of a second step that he has to take after exploding to just kind of I think catch himself while also moving forward it's a very slight very small thing that I noticed that I wanted to bring up just because I saw it on this play and I think it's worth noting again I don't think that's something that I'm going to critique him very hard on and I don't think it's something that really anybody would give him super negative points for 
before, but it's worth noting every once in a while shows a slight lack of balance. I think that's something that I'm sure his coaches at the next level will notice and will work with him on. And then here, Kenneth Gainwell is going to be an absolute dual threat. And this is just one play to show that here. You'll see really good hands to catch that ball, pluck that ball out of the air. And, and again, I, I, I talk about this all the time and I've mentioned it multiple times, but really just doesn't have an issue gearing up to that top speed. I think that's one of the biggest things when you're looking at uh, college players, especially, you know, Memphis lower tier guys, how quickly do they get that second gear? Because in the NFL, you don't really have time for a build up speed unless you are unless you have elite elite uh, build up speed. Uh, let's move on over to the the skill chart here. I'm going to pull it up right now. And let's just run through this very, very quickly. We're going to start here at the top with vision. As you can see at a 4.3, that is technically a negative grade on my scale. 4.5 being kind of the baseline neutral grade, and it goes up and down from there. So 4.3, no, not a great grade, but I actually don't really blame Kenneth Gainwell a whole lot for the reason I'm putting this at a 4.3. It was really just the scheme. Uh, the run fits weren't very complex by any means. It was very simple, very easy to discern, and he really just only had one decision uh, and that's okay you know that's not really a bad thing but it was just one of those things where I couldn't give him a positive grade for something I really just didn't see a whole lot on film agility short area quickness all just a little bit uh, below elite I always call elite seven to nine is like where I put my elite and seven to eight is like elite and then eight to nine is like elite elite top of the top um, he's just one step below that really really good definitely NFL quality agility definitely NFL quality uh, short area quickness um, love his acceleration uh, gets gets to top speeds very very quickly pass protection he definitely is gonna have trouble with some of these bigger linemen, but I mean, that's kind of to be expected. I, I would think that coaches would understand the limitations from a size perspective. I mean, he's not a big dude. Um, that's just is what it is. Power. Yeah. He's not going to be a power running back. Uh, we, we, we know that. I mean, uh, he, he can run with, with good power, but he's really, he's not even like CH. CH was almost like a, a bowling ball when he was just, he could truly just run through people. It was one, some of the most amazing thing. And that was like one of the biggest reasons why he was my number two running back was that he had all of the talent of a, of, you know, what I show with Kenneth Gainwell, very good, uh, you know, agility, very good short air quickness. But then on top of that could truly just run through people that were bigger than him. i never really saw that from, from, uh, Gainwell here, so that's why the the power is so low. Pass catching is elite elite. He he is top end. I, I showed it a little bit in the film review, but with the film review, I try and just show a little bit of all the things I like about him. But there was a litany of plays where he, you know, he they were getting him the ball in space and he was able to make a move and, and make people miss. Great, great player. I, I encourage you to go check out his highlights uh, on YouTube wherever you can find him because he has some great highlight real plays. Um, plays with pretty good patience. Uh, uh, very good at breaking tackles, bounces bounces off defenders very, very well. Uh, his ability in the open field is awesome. I mean, as you saw, he he put the, the Penn State defensive player on ice. I put it at a seven for ability in the open field because I actually do think he can get better, but it, it is elite. I think he's very, very good one-on-one uh, -on -one versus just about anybody, especially at the college level, and I think he'll be pretty damn good at the NFL level as well. And then bad level and balance, yeah. Um, as, as I've said throughout this video, and as you saw, I mean, he just he bounces off people, so you have have to love that. Uh, I I am a huge fan of this kid. I, I love the running style in general. I, I just I love the, a, a combination of a guy who who is essentially a scat back. Like he's a speed runner for for the most part. Um, but he also just has the ability to just run through people and bounce off tackles and all these other things. I'm a huge, huge fan. Uh, we'll see where his final grade goes. There's going to be a lot of other things that are going to come into this. And, and with a guy that missed all of 2020, the off is going to be a big part of this. So I'm not going to give you what my final grade for him right now. This is just going to be kind of a cursory film review to kind of get a good idea of what type of player he is. And hopefully I've done that so far. Um, I will tell you, I think, he is going to be somewhere in that third round running back range. I think he can 
absolutely be a lead back in the NFL. I, I think he'd be served really well by a running mate. That's kind of where the NFL's going. For the most part, every team has, you know, one or two backs that, that carry the load, um, you know, pretty evenly. For the most part, obviously, there's there's exceptions to that. Um, I, I think, you know, for the fantasy communities that are looking for maybe guys that aren't as well known, uh, this is a name that I think you should quickly uh, be uh, associated with because I could absolutely see him falling into a situation that works out really, really well. Again, though, I, I do have him as a, a day two pick, a, a third round pick right now. We'll see how it all plays out. I still have not gotten through everybody uh, that is most likely going to be drafted. I, I'm trying to just uh, make my way through it, but Gainwell, I'm a huge fan of. I love the running style, and I think he absolutely belongs in the NFL. Just another and a long list of Memphis runners that have come into the NFL and made a name for themselves. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you like this video, if you're interested in more draft profile videos, uh, subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out two a week, uh, so you can you can check that out. Let me know in the comments what you think of Kenneth Gainwell, uh, what you thought of my take on Kenneth Gainwell, and who you would like me to do another draft profile on soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out.